If Chelsea can win on Boxing Day, that would be absolutely massive. Look, like, just don't be the team to let Arsenal win. Because, like, Arsenal are the most banterous team in the league right now. I think even Arsenal fans watching this can agree that Arsenal are the most banterous team in the league this season. Christmas everybody. I hope you all had a, a, a good Christmas despite the circumstances we find ourselves in at the minute. Do you know what? I actually had a pretty good Christmas day, but um, you know, Chelsea just had to go and ruin it, didn't they? They just had to do it. You've just taken the title of most banterous team of 2020. You've taken it off Arsenal saying we'll have that. And we'll keep it all to ourselves. Hello guys, how are you getting on? My name's Aaron Kelly. Welcome back to another episode of The Verdict. Now before I get into anything, I would like to congratulate Arsenal on genuinely an absolutely fantastic performance. And a fantastic win. The last time Arsenal played Chelsea was the FA Cup final. And I got a couple of angry Arsenal fans in the comments basically telling me that I didn't give Arsenal the uh, credit they deserved for their performance in beating Chelsea in the FA Cup final. So I'm giving you the credit now. Absolutely unbelievable. You just wanted that game far more than Chelsea. And I've got to give huge praise to Arteta who's been coming under a lot of shit in the last couple of weeks from Arsenal fans. He had the boldness and the audacity tonight to play two youngsters in Martinelli and Smith Rowe in that front three instead of two experienced pros in Aubameyang and Willian. And oh my god did it pay off. Absolutely unbelievable the two and the urgency pressing from the front, getting in Chelsea's faces, not letting us a second on the ball. Arsenal were fired up for this game. They fucking wanted it. They were hungry. Every ball, every second ball, every third ball, they were in on it. Every single time, every 50-50 was being won by an Arsenal player. Like, the hunger in that team today was absolutely outstanding and I've no doubt now that Arsenal are going to pull clear from the current situation that they're currently in if Arteta continues to play the personnel that he played today and if they continue to have, you know, keep the likes of Smith Rowe and particularly Martinelli fit who's had a lot of problems injury-wise. Kaya Saka, Hector Bellerin, unbelievable as well, Shaka and um, El Elneny absolutely controlled the game, back three, flawless, Pablo Mari. Uh, Kieran Tierney and Rob Holding and Bert Leno saves the Jorginho penalty, which we'll get onto in a bit. But Arsenal, I tip my hat. Unbelievable performance. Well done. Let's move on to Chelsea then. Fraudulent. I hate to sound like who is he, but that was of a performance. Like that was the most fraudulent performance I think we've seen all season, and maybe under Frank Lampard so far. Um, this Chelsea team, uh, unbelievable. Like, we were on an incredible run. Looked like we'd got back to, you know, the position we wanted to be in and we beat West Ham the other night, but from start to finish, from player 1 to 11, absolutely shocking. And I will give credit to one Chelsea player, only one, who came on and did himself justice, and that is Callum hudson Odoi. That was actually a really, really good performance from Callum in the first, in, in the second half when he came on. Actually going at Kieran Tierney, and it was his persistence and the quality of his crosses as well which led to Chelsea's only goal of the game which was scored by uh, Tammy Abraham. Apart from that, the rest of you can go on in fucking shite because <laughs> that was shocking. No urgency, didn't look like we wanted it at all. Lack of quality on the ball when we did get it. Kovacic was awful, Kante was awful. Even Mount when he got on the ball today. Timo Werner, absolutely shocking. And a lot of Chelsea fans are going to be giving out, oh, well, he's being played out of position. I don't give a shit. That man plays on the left sometimes for Germany as well. He should know how to play that position. And, and a lot of Chelsea fans are continuing to, you know, back Timo Werner. And I will continue to back him as long as he's a Chelsea player. I'll always back the player. But I'm still not afraid because he's Timo Werner and he's supposed to be one of the most clinical best players in Europe. I'm still not going to shy away from giving him criticism when he deserves it. Full backs got absolutely destroyed. I mentioned the, the, the positives from Arsenal's wing, the you know, Arsenal's wingers, the forwards like Smith Rowe, Martinelli, and then the overloads with Bellerin and Saka. Reese James and Ben Chilwell had absolutely no answer to it today. No communication, no just general awareness on where to be on the pitch. And we just looked sluggish and lethargic tonight. It was absolutely shocking. First goal is the penalty, and uh, I definitely questioned the penalty at first, and there's still questions to be raised about it. It's kind of one of those where I think Tierney definitely plays for the penalty. I kind of throws his left leg back, which uh, his back of his knee collides with Reese James's right knee, maybe, or something like that. 
Um, you know, I've seen them given. It's one of those, it may be given, it may be not on another day, who knows. But either way, Lacazette stuck away the penalty. But I was angry at the time that the fact the penalty was given by VAR. But to be honest, at that point, Arsenal were still all over us and were still fully deserving of the lead at that point. The second goal is an unbelievable free kick from Granit Xhaka, an unbelievable strike, but it's the power that beats Edouard Mendy, absolutely brilliant. And then the third goal, which really killed us off, right at the start of the second half, was an unbelievable chip from Bukayo Saka. Whether he meant it or not, I think he does mean it. At first thought, I went, oh, well, he's obviously just shanked across there. But the way his, his body moves and the way his head looks up, I genuinely do think he meant that goal. Um, Chelsea obviously got the goal late on. Tammy Abraham scored. Jorginho had the chance to maybe, maybe give us one more chance to equalise. But again, hop, skip and jump, passes it, and Leno easily saves it. Three points go to Arsenal, Chelsea in the mud, and to be quite honest with you lads, we're not going to get top four if we're playing out like that, let alone a fucking title charge. There is absolutely no positives apart from, as I said, Callum hudson Adoy, uh, his performance, to take out of this performance tonight. Spineless, lack of desire, lack of just geeing yourself up for a, a big game of football. Arsenal, you know, is one of the biggest fixtures that Chelsea have in the season. And uh, the fact that we looked so slow and lethargic. Arsenal played on Wednesday in the Carabao Cup. I know they had a second string out, realistically. But there was a few players that played on Wednesday against Manchester City that played against Chelsea tonight. So you cannot tell me that, oh, the Chelsea players are tired because of the Christmas period. Arsenal played on Wednesday night, lads. So I'm not going to hear any of this shit of, oh, well, look, the Chelsea, you know, the players are having a, you know, a tough time at the minute with fixtures coming thick and fast. I will not hear any of that shit, okay? I will, I'm not, not going to stand for it. What comes next for Chelsea? Who knows? More fraudulence, probably, because that performance tonight just absolutely undermines everything good we've done this season. You can bring in all the, the, the best players in Europe that you like, but if you're not playing as a team, if the mentality is not right, which it clearly wasn't tonight, clearly these Chelsea players were not up to this game and didn't understand the magnitude of this game. It's clear they looked at that Arsenal 11 and went, we don't even have to be at our best tonight to get three points tonight. Well, look what happened when you were fucking complacent. Yeah, you got absolutely slapped around the place. Arsenal would have fully deserved three points. And um, I'm genuinely excited now to see how um, this Arsenal team continues. If, as I said, if Arteta continues to play the same personnel that he has at the minute, um, they could go far. But um, yeah, unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable scenes of incredible fraudulence from uh, Chelsea tonight. From 1 to 11, as I said, Hudson Adoy aside, everybody else was absolutely brutal. And I got a question, a couple of things Frank Lampard did as well. He's got to be furious looking at that. that performance overall. Second half, uh, when we did actually start to get on the ball and start getting a bit of possession, it was still 3-0. We weren't really testing Leno. The only times we were looking half-threatening was when we were swinging balls into the box. Why? Because we now had a player on the pitch in hudson Adoy who was able to swing them balls into the box, but we had nobody in there and Olivier Giroud, as good as, as decent as Tammy is in the air, he's not Olivier Giroud. And I'm, Olivier Giroud should have been on for the last half an hour, but no. Who did he bring on? Kai Havertz, another absolute fraud. I'm sorry, Chelsea fans, but he is a fucking fraud. And if he go if he comes good and you know actually proves me wrong, Werner the same. Come back to this video and clown on me as much as you want. But the two of them absolutely awful, as as well as the rest of the show. He brought on Jorginho as well. Like realistically, Frank. You know, Kovacic, as poor as he was in that first half, he's more likely to, you know, create something and, you know, you know, give us that spark, that's something different, than Jorginho, who'll just pass the ball. Jorginho's a player you bring on when you have the game won and you want to keep balance and you want to keep things calm and collected and, we, you know, keep possession. You don't bring him on when you're fucking 2-0 down away from home at half time. Questionable changes. Terrible performance overall. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. A shocking place. Shocking way to end the year. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Good luck. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable.